Hi guys! Happy Friday! And that means it's time for a page by page. Um, so this is the page by page we're doing with Terry over at Sweet Pea Papers. And it's, um, we're almost done with the first signature. Yay! And so I picked letters this week, or last week. So that's the spread we're going to do today. And I think we're going to do this one. Right, last week we did this one, which was collage. And I really like him. He's cool. And uh, so we're going to do this page. And so I picked letters, and I'm going to actually use letters. I have these, what is it, game board alphabet like letters, okay? And that's what we're going to use today. So I don't know. I got my brand new camera today, and I'm not completely acquainted with it. It's brand new. The microphone I'm learning, I don't know. I've been trying to play with it and I don't I don't know. We will see. So hopefully we'll figure that out and we'll get better as time goes on. Um, I just need to really sit down and do some research with it, I think. Okay, so what I would like to do, do we have two T's? Let's see what letters we have here. So we have an L. I would love to spell out letters. That would be really cool. But I'm not sure we have two T's. We might only have one T. We have two L's. Here's a T. We need two of them. Oh look! Here's another one. Let's see, do we have an E? Oh, please tell me we have an E. Oh no. Okay, so we have no E it looks like, so we'll have to think of a different word. Hmm? So, what should we spell out? Um, let's see, we have, do we have a J? A J? We have a J. O U R Jur N E Y Journey. That works. It's like a puzzle, huh? <laughs> okay, so we have our letters and um they're not treated. They're just they're just kind of you know. But I'm gonna put white gesso on them anyway. So I have my brush here. It's just my basic brush, and I'm going to white gesso it using just regular white gesso. Nothing fancy. This is like a cheap white gesso, too. So, it's all snowing now. It's so cold, and um, <laughs> I'm like, I want, if I, you know, I'm, I don't like the snow when it's not snow snow right? If it's just like barely snowing. <laughs> I see it's pointless to me. <laughs> oh, but one good thing about it is that all the flies are gone for the most part. Um, so I'm so happy about that because they, a few weeks ago, they were really bad. Like we couldn't even get fly traps in any of the stores around here because they were all sold out. So crazy stuff. And um, the garage, I couldn't believe it. So the garage electricity went out. The entire circuit went out. And it did that last year or two, around the same time. And um, if somehow the circuit is connected to the uh, just the outlet, but the outlet in the bathroom, which I find really, really weird. But... Um, whatever. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but we had gotten an electrician out last year to deal with it. And he could not find like the access point to the circuit, to the circuit. So he ended up doing like a temporary fix. And, um, he said the wiring throughout the entire house was like really bad and it needed to be redone anyway. So he was like, well, you know, we can, and he was like, you know, I mean, 
he was like, I can leave it and come back and troubleshoot it and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff, but it's money, you know, because he has to, like, go in and follow the wire, all the wiring, because he couldn't find the... We think there was an access to the attic somewhere, and we think it's walled off. So when they redid the upstairs, they, like, walled off or something the access to the attic, and he thinks that that's where it is. And so... He did a temporary fix and everything, and uh, that was a year ago, and so now it blew again, and I really, I want to go get it dealt with, because I want to call and get it dealt and we are, Matthew's going to do that, I think probably going to call and schedule that this weekend, because I don't want to start an electrical fire, you know, that's always a concern. Okay, so we have our letters, and... I want to dry them. All right, so let's dry them real quick. And then we can paint them. Those feel dry to me. Okay. So we have our letters. Fancy. Let's rinse off our brush. I have my water here. So yeah, let's rinse off our brush. So I don't know if maybe the microphone got like banged around during shipment or something. I don't know. Or I'm, I'm, but I've messed with the settings and I've done all this stuff and I still can't figure out how to get the optimal sound. So we'll have to, ew, that's all dried up and stuff. Okay. get some of that color and we'll get some of this color this is like a dark chocolate brown and this is a khaki these are all like really um, cheap paints except for this one this one's Vallejo which is a really good I don't know if that comes in like it doesn't have an autofocus I don't think I think I can turn it on oh. <laughs> again I'm new to this camera so Bear with me. But anyway, that's a wash. Oh, I should have shook, shooken it. I should have shooken it first. Um, what can we do? And then we have this Citadel. This is model paint, okay? It's a model paint, and it is acrylic-based. It does have some other stuff in it. Um, but it's for painting models, and it's we have a few of these. We have a few of these ones, the silver. So I thought, well, I'll use the fancy silver. Um... I'm going to leave it in its pot. I'm not going to take it out. I don't want to waste any of it. It's kind of expensive. It's like 3 or $4 for just this little tiny pot of paint. And I'll tell you about this paint. This paint is... It's really good paint, right? It's really, really good for painting plastic, especially. Um, Citadel, yeah. It's made by, like, Warhammer and stuff. Well, they're affiliated. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the technicality behind all the Warhammer um, stuff. But it's, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. What was I talking about? <laughs> I guess that's according to Terry's grandmother and others, right? Other people's mobs and stuff. I must have been lying. Um, yeah, I'm ta I was talking about this stuff. Oh, the tops. I hate the tops. These tops, the way these tops are, because they they don't like to close all the way. See, look at that. And so they it dries out the paint which makes you go buy more paint right i mean i get the marketing behind it but i don't care for the tops and i know that it's a, it's a big i know that a lot of the people within the community right who would do model painting and stuff um like warhammer you know little figurine painting yeah, they, that's a big complaint. One of the biggest suggestions, one of the most suggested things in the past like 10 or 15 years or something is change your pots to your paints. But it brings them in money, so why not? Okay, so we're painting them this brown color. 
right, as a base. So I started watching Whose Line Is It Anyway recently, which is so much fun. That's such a great show. It's, it is always sure, no matter what, to always cheer me up, no matter what's going on. And um, it's just hilarious. Like, even if I don't laugh at everything, like if I'm in a bad mood or something and I'm like, ugh, eventually something will land. <laughs> and I'll find myself smiling, laughing, you know. It's a wonderful, I love it. And I can't believe they're still running. You know, they're just crazy. They've been doing it for a long time. It's so cool. Okay. I'm going to wipe off, clean off our mat a little bit. Okay. Let's bring these back over. And we're kind of dry enough. We only put like a thin layer on it, right? I'm going to stick that back in my... Now I'm going to take my bigger brush... I'm going to grab some dark, I'm going to put it all on my brush, right? It's going to kind of act like a dry brush. And I'm only going to hit parts of the letters, just parts, right? Like maybe just the tip of this Y. Why, you ask? Well, why not? That's what I say. It's like almost like dry brushing, right? It's kind of... Okay. There we go. So we have like some darker parts on our letters. And uh, I'm going to rinse off my brush, but I'm going to make sure that I dry it pretty good. I'm going to try and get as much of the water out of the brush I can. And then, right, so we've got kind of a... Yeah. And then I'm going to grab the wash. This is that rust. This is that Vallejo model rust. And it's it's a rust. Again, I don't know if you can see. It says rust on it. <laughs> and we're going to put rust on them. Right? We're just going to put rust. And I might need to um, add more. Right, get some rust on there. And I'm kind of missing like some of the like dark parts, right? Ta da! We could even go with some more. Let's go with some more. Let's dry it first, and then we'll put another layer on top. All right, so. I just kind of dragged that through the paint, didn't I? <laughs> that paint right there. Oh, well, it's okay. Okay, let's... Oh, we need to shake this. That's half the problem. So you want to, like, really hold on to the top of your... Like, you know, because it's going to leak. It's going to leak. It's going to go everywhere. It's a mess. Okay, that looks better, right? That looks like it has more... Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. I think so. All right. So we have our letters. Right? Journey. They will spell out journey. Let me wash off our... Watch that model wash stain that uh, freezer paper, I bet. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can kind of wipe it off. Kind of. Wow. It's probably because there's glue. What do you bet? I'm going to have to replace my freezer paper next time. Okay, so. So we're going to do this page, right? So what are we going to put on it? That's the question. And I'm thinking, these look great. So I'm thinking, I want to do, I'm going to try and attempt 
a gusseted pocket. I'm not sure. Oh, we do. We already have a gusseted pocket. Well, we can't have another one, right? We can't do that. We'll have to think of something else. Um, <laughs> that's how on the fly we do these things around here. Um, oh, I have an idea. Let's do like a faux envelope kind of pocket, right? Um, yes, that that's the pl Ooh, no. So I have these bags that I order from Joy. Aren't these wonderful? So what if we did something like this? Right, and we folded it like that. Right, do we want it more like this? Do we want to fold it? Have this part be upside down? You know what, it's okay. Let's have, let's see, do we like this side? Do we like this side? I like this side better, right? Like this. Okay, we're gonna fold this here, okay? And then we're just gonna cut this off. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut it off. Right? Ladies Gainsborough, Ladies Gainsborough dress hat. <laughs> Okay, so we've cut it along the bottom. So we have an opening here. Right, so we have an opening here, and then we'll have an opening here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut. Open up. Okay. I'm going to cut a little bit, just a snip, right down like that. I'm going to fold it. Okay, that's going to indicate a pocket there. And then what we'll do is we'll glue it. What will glue will we use? We will use, you know what, it's thin. I want to test it. Let's test our barely art on this thin um, bag paper. Yeah, I bet it'll do great. I bet, I bet. So far it's done great. So I'm going to glue this little flap down like that. Yeah, let's glue this little flap down too. And we'll decorate it. We'll probably put like a piece of lace across there or something. And then I'm going to glue this whole pocket down. I'm not going to make it a, another pocket. Like you could, you could have one pocket, two pocket, three pocket. I'm not going to do that. I only want two pockets. So I'm going to glue the entire thing down from the very top. And I want to try to get the very edge. Okay. And... Okay, so awesome. Look, we have a pocket and a pocket. And did I see if it would even fit on our page? Of course I didn't. Do I ever do that? No. <laughs> Does it? No. But what might be cool is, yeah, but it'll, it can, it can sit off the, off the edge of the page though. Because really by the end of the deal, this is going to be the very middle of the entire journal. Because if we're doing a second signature, right, then this will be the middle. So that'll look fine that it sticks out like that. Um, that's it. Well, if we want to be particular and we don't want to be lazy about it, huh? We, we, can, we can fix it. Let's trim it. Let's trim it. Glue it. Huh? Let's do it proper just so we don't run into issues down the line. That's what I've decided. Oh, goodness, goodness. Okay. I'm thinking an inch and a half, maybe less. An inch and a quarter, an inch. Let's go there. It's like an inch and an eighth I cut off. I don't even know what the size of these bags were to begin with. 
Oops. Okay, so now it will fit on our page. Okay, good deal. Thank you, thing. So now we have to glue it. We have to glue this. Like that. And then we're going to have to glue this one. Down along like that. And then we'll trim it up here like this. See, ta-da! You never knew. I don't know if any of that was off camera. I'm <laughs> I apologize. Okay, here we go. So we have this. This is awesome. This is exactly what I want. And then these are not going to fit on the bag. That's okay. They'll fit on our page. Let's cut a page to fit on our page. Right? Um, what to put on there? Let's look and see what we have. We have clocks. What is on? I love being able to use these as tags and stuff. But we do have this beautiful page behind it. We have some journaling cards and tags. And there's this, but I don't want to cover it, right? I mean, that would make a great... I was going to steal it for the train journal, but decided I wasn't going to. Okay. We have this one, and again, I don't want to cover it. You know, because it's so pretty. One would hate to cover it. Um, let's see. What do we have here? What is this? This is the back page. I bet the back page would work great. Let's just do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. Okay, cool. Let's mark it. We'll mark it. Mark it dark enough to see. Right? Okay. Now let's cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. So yeah, I've been really enjoying Whose Line. It's been so great. It's been just funny. And, um, yeah, I don't know. You know, there, there's, there's another thing that I learned that, like, can cheer me up sometimes if I'm really upset, like, in the moment. And <laughs> it's so cheesy one. But, you know, if one thing, if there's one thing that children have taught me, it's that Let It Go song from Frozen, you know? <laughs> that song that, you know, the kids, there was a while where the kids played it over and over, and it was the only thing. That, I mean, if you didn't even have kids, you knew what that song was. Like, it was that bad. And, uh... Okay, so let's ink it. Um, but I notice that sometimes, like, if I'm feeling, like, particularly bad or something, if I, uh, if I sing that in my head, no kidding, I can't, like, be upset. I just can't, like, bring myself to be upset anymore. It's weird. I don't know. And it's probably just me. I'm probably just a cheesy... <laughs> Okay, so that's that page. So we need to glue it. So we're going to have to deal with that. This. And um, that's fine. I will. I will. I'll take E6000 to it if I have to, but we'll get that to close. <laughs> okay, let's ink this page. All right, we'll put a good thick thing of ink on it.
I'm gonna start the uh, I'm gonna start the Halloween journal soon, so there'll be a little bit less of the purple journal, but um, I'll still be I'll still be doing the purple journal during that time. So no worries on that. Okay, awesome. This will fit perfectly onto our page. This one is going to sit here. Yep, completely on there. And again, I'm not going to make it another pocket, right? We're going to glue the entire thing down, and we're not using this glue. It doesn't want to be used anyway, it appears to me. <laughs> I can't wait to see. So Terry gets to pick the prompt for this week for next week, right? So next week we'll be making whatever page using um, a prompt of her choosing. And she may start using the list. I'm not sure. She put together this amazing list that has, oh my gosh, it's got like a hundred or over a hundred prompts on it. It's an, it's amazing. And she basically put together all the prompts that we've used throughout the page by page, all the prompts that's been used for the September daily and for the January daily over in um, uh, Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal group on Facebook. Um, and uh, yeah, amazing. She put that whole prompt list together. And I think you can find it. I don't know if you can find it in Miss Paint a Lot's junk journal group, but I bet you can find it in Terry's group, which is Sweet Pea Papers. And um, so she may start using that. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm excited to like uh, pop over there after after I upload this and uh, check out check out what she's what she's done. Okay, so journey. I hope it fits. It might not fit. Well, I might have to play you are it's not gonna fit we have Jorn <laughs> and I don't want to have them fall down like that so what we could do is we could have them sit like this and would that be a problem like you know we could cut it Cut it, you say? Yes. Why not? J O U R, if we can figure out how to spell journey. J O U R N E. It still doesn't fit. Wow, they're a lot bigger than I thought. They looked so much smaller in the package. Right? They really did. Well, the J can stick up. Right? It can stick up for itself. That kind of works out anyway. Except for the bulk will be near the spine. Okay. We'll do it like this. We're going to do it like this. And first, so this is the first thing I want to do. Is I want to put some... Um... I'm going to use this palette knife given to me by the lovely Tommy over at the Goth Crafter. She is such a sweetheart. So I'm going to put on some white gesso. Right, and we're just going to put some on there, on the entire thing. This is going to give some contrast so that our letters don't just blend into the background so much. And we want, well, I'm using the palette knife and I want the texture, right? So just putting down texture, doop, doop. Wipe off my knife. Okay, we gotta let that dry. So, okay, so we're all dry and everything. And now I'm going to take 
the walnut. I'm going to take my walnut and my dauber. And we're just going to go over. Right? We're just going to kind of go over our page, focusing mostly on the white parts. But, you know, we don't want to just put in just the white parts because then you can tell around it. We want to blend it in. So we'll put a little bit in. Right? Just a little bit. Yay! Okay, and then we'll come in and do the same here. Ta-da! Okay, now it's not white, right? But it's not you know, it's it's not it'll you it won't um ta da you'll be able to see the actual letters on the on the page. Okay, so one more thing I'm thinking I'll do is I'm gonna take the black Okay, and we're going to go over, I'm going to try to get these edges, right, especially along the edge, because they are card, you know, so they raise up a little bit, and that will also help, right? do I know? So yeah, I'm going to start the Halloween journal um, that, you know, Lisa sent me that blank one, J-O-U-R, which is so sweet. She made a whole blank journal, right? She made it, and so it's got cute papers. I can't wait to show it. But yeah, I'm going to start that soon. I, I noticed everyone's doing the Halloween thing, um, and I do want to get to that. I didn't want to start it too soon, though. I've got the purple journal and everything else going on. Um, I wanted to get some some good amount of work done on that. So there's an N. We'll put the E down here. It's made the all the paint and treatment and everything has made them all. Uh, <laughs> flimsy, a lot more flimsier. Get that white off of there. Why? So there it is, journey. Okay, and I'm going to go in, I know it's terrible, but I'm going to go in with my black. It's still too light. That's fine. Okay. We're going to use the Barely Art. J. O. And we're going to put the U down here, right? U. R. So I called to make reservations um, at the restaurant that... Uh, Jen and Mike and Nancy and um, myself and Matthew and everyone is going to go is going to go to on we you know when they come down and um, I couldn't believe they wouldn't take a reservation for more than eight people because everyone's bringing their husbands <laughs> of course you know you got to bring your husbands. Um, <laughs> uh, 
yeah, so, I mean, and I understand that. That's fine. But, um, I thought, well, why do reservations at all? If <laughs> oh, goodness. So that's cool. There are rumors that we might be playing with a jelly plate after dinner. Ooh, I'm super excited about that. Um, ooh, that would be so cool. And if we do, I'll get to come home and show you. It'll be like show and tell. <laughs> It'll be like, look what I made. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that dry. We have our letters. We have our um, bag. We have our, right, we have our bag. And the idea is I want letters, like the idea is to put actual letters in the bag, in the bags, right? So, and I'm going to write that down, right? I'm going to, I'm going to write down, we're going to write if as fancy as we can, okay? Ta-da! Letters. Okay, and I'm going to write the same thing up here. Ta-da! Letters, letters, letters. And then, that's kind of it. It needs some stuff up here. And so you know what I think? It needs butterflies. We haven't gotten to put many butterflies in this journal. And I want to do that. So, ow! Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's use... I'm just so big. Do we have a smaller one? This one. That's the one. And then... I have this, I have this box. Isn't this box so cool? I have this box and ta-da, it's got treasure in it. And they're buttons. So what I'd like to do, look at this one. Yep, that's the one. It's even flat. Look, it doesn't even have a shank on the back of it. See, it's a button. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a piece of thread, thread, right? And this is a wax thread from, um, from, uh, doing some book binding. So I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to thread it in through like that. Okay. And then we're going to do a hitch knot, a hitch knot. Yep. A hitch knot. So, if I can remember how to do it. I tie it around this one. Right, I mean, it's just basically, it's a regular knot really at this point. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. So we're gonna have the butterfly hanging right off of our we're going to have the butterfly like holding this balloon or this uh, this heart thing right that's the plan okay so first thing really quick so I want to darken up that thread. I don't want to grunge up that thread. We're running low on batteries, so I'm hoping we make it. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. We're going to ink him. I think I'm going to use the art glitter. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, <laughs> it's so weird and cool and I love it. journey. Okay, so now we just have to glue it into our book. All right, just glue it into the book and we'll be done. Yay! <laughs> I can't wait to see what Terry picks for as her prompt next week. And I already knew it. Yep, that fell off. It's because we were turning it upside down and stuff. So yeah, Joy sells these bags in her shop. Right, and so yeah, they're wonderful. There, you get you get quite a bit of them too. So, anyway, yay! Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go through the journal here in a little bit with some E6000. I'll go outside, and I'll glue down just specific pieces of the journal that need it. You know, that have little metal pieces and things like that. That you know, I don't know. I just I would feel safer reinforcing. But so yay! There's there it is, our page in the page by page. I suppose we could add a person, but um, I don't mind having, you know, not a person on every single page. I love that we have a butterfly on this one. Um, so yay, go check out Terry's page, see what she made this week with letters. Um, and I will see you later. Have a good day, bye.